What are the possible complications? One complication would be a bleeding complication. And like I said, bruising is normal, but if you're having more and more pain and the swelling in the site is getting worse and worse, this could be an internal bleeding or hematoma. With any lines, there is definitely a risk of an infection. Obviously the risk is higher with the central lines, like I mentioned before, but any of these lines can get infected. The way you would know if you have an infection is usually you develop either a fever or the site of the catheter would get progressively red and painful. These infections can be serious and can lead to sepsis. Another complication of any of these procedures, especially if performed in the chest, is a risk of something called a pneumothorax. A pneumothorax is a partial lung collapse, and that would happen if you accidentally hit the lung with the needle when placing these lines, or if the wire went in and damaged the lung. So if you develop shortness of breath or chest pain that is new, you need to get it looked at, and the way to diagnose would be to do a chest x-ray. Now, a more common problem that we see it is to develop a blood clot where the line is going into the vein. And that can happen with any type of central line. And if that happens, the most common symptom would be arm swelling. The other symptom that we see is some patients can develop severe pain in the neck. Now, one problem that can happen in patients that require central lines for a long time, and this is most commonly seen in patients that require TPM, is that some patients can develop scarring of these veins. So the veins may clot and sometimes may scar down. So with time, you may run out of veins and people may have a hard time putting catheters in and that may become a problem. Now, lastly, the other complication that we see with any of these catheters is called a fibrin cheek. And a fibrin sheet happens when the scatters are there for a long time. And that's when you build some scar tissue around the tip of the catheter. And that can prevent either aspirating the blood from the catheters or even clogging the catheters completely.